Hi friends, I hope you're doing well. I discovered some really amazing products in the month of March. I'm gonna share them with you. I feel like this month I have a really good mix of high-end and drugstore makeup, also a skincare device, just things that I've been absolutely loving. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ali. I'm a self-taught makeup artist. I'm obsessed with products. I started my own beauty brand last year and I also have a makeup bag brand. It's so nice to have you here if you're new. Hit that subscribe button to join the family and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Let's get into my favorite things from March. Starting with this Cali Ray Hideaway Concealer. It's like a corrector and a brightener and a serum all in one. I'm telling you, Cali Ray is one of the most like slept on brands. I feel like not that many people talk about them or at least more should. I love this brand and this is another launch that I'm just in love with. So this essentially just brightens up the eye area. It is a little bit more of a thinner formula than your typical concealer. It also color corrects. I love this, especially for every day. I find myself reaching for this on a daily basis. A little bit goes a long way. I use the shade Dawn. I do wish there was a shade like right in between this one and the next one hopefully they expand the shade range because I find with this specific shade if I apply too much it can kind of look a little too brightening around the eyes but if you apply the right amount it's just so beautiful and it looks so natural it just makes the eye area look so fresh and awake and I'm obsessed with this I've been using it every single day and when I use this I don't use concealer which is so nice this next product could be an honorable mention. I don't know if I've ever mentioned it in a favorites video before. If I have, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna repeat myself. The Persona Cosmetics Bronze Multi Stick in the shade Mojave for me is absolute perfection. This is such a beautiful bronzing stick. This specific shade is actually newer. They launched with other shades and I used to use the other shades and I, I made it work, but this one is perfect for fair light skin. If you struggle finding a bronzer slash contour stick that doesn't look like too much on you, this is really what you should check out. This is perfect for every day if I'm in a rush. Also perfect for springtime, you know, when you don't wanna to look too summery, but also you need a little bit of something coming out of winter. I've been obsessed with this, it's so beautiful. The formula's fabulous, it blends like a dream, but the shade specifically is so perfect. I had a lot of wins from the drugstore this month, one being the Physician's Formula Mineral Wear Diamond Blur Skincare Powder. This is so beautiful, it's so lightweight. I really do love this, it's one of the best loose powders that I've ever tried at the drugstore. I've been using this like crazy. I just find that it like melts into the skin. It looks really, really natural, really beautiful. It's not too heavy on the skin. It looks very skin-like. Um, what else do I love about it? Um, it does come with a puff. I do like how it looks when you use a puff with it, but I found myself using a brush more. Anyway, it's a beautiful powder if you're looking for a really high quality Loose powder from the drugstore. It's also fragrance free, which is great. Look no further, this is amazing. Speaking of powders, the M Cosmetic Portrait Mode Refining Setting Powder is so beautiful. Now this is a pressed powder versus the Physician's Formula One. First of all, the packaging, like 10 out of 10. This is to die for. I love it. Like I said, it's a pressed powder and this has blurring capabilities like I've never experienced. The way that this can just smooth out your skin, almost like a filter, but it's so lightweight that you don't even see it or feel it on the skin. It's crazy. It's so beautiful. I love it. I feel like it's innovative. You can apply this with a puff, but you can also apply it with a brush. I've used it both ways. I can't stop using it. I definitely think more people need to try this. Um, I haven't heard too many people talk about it, and I think it's one of the best like blurring pressed powders I've ever come across. So 10 out of 10 for me, love that. Another fabulous drugstore find for me this month is this Pixi On The Glow Blush. This is their pH tinted moisture stick. So they have other colors, but this one is the one that like tints your cheeks and your lips. I love using it on the lips too, but it tints your cheeks and lips depending on the pH of your skin. This looks so cute. This for like a fresh look is so beautiful. I also love kind of the balmy finish that this gives. It looks very fresh and healthy on the skin. Um, I will say because it's more of a cream balm finish, it doesn't have as much longevity as say, a powder blush does, but the way I've used this is more for like the running errands kind of a look where you just want a little bit of a pinched cheek situation or like a really natural pink lip. Um, it's beautiful, I love it. And I think it feels so comfortable on the lips because of that balmy texture. Uh, it gives the skin a really beautiful, healthy glow because of the balmy texture. Plus the pink color that it creates based off your pH is just so cute, I love it. This blush became a favorite of mine so fast this month and I didn't put it down literally. It's the Lip to Cheek from RMS Beauty and this is the shade Elusive. 
It is so pretty. It's the most beautiful kind of rosy brown mauve color. It just looks stunning on both the cheeks and the lips. I love using it on the cheeks and lips together. I love a good like monochromatic kind of a look. It's so nice. I cannot say enough good things about this. It just, it's the perfect color. And I've seen it on other people too. And it looks so good on so many different people. I just, I love it. Patrick Ta released three new shades of blushes and there's one specifically that I absolutely love and it's the shade Not Too Much. I do have like three blushes on today because I loved three blushes, but I put the powder one on top and it just gives the most beautiful hint of color. It's not too overpowering. It has a little bit more of like a peachy pink undertone versus, um, it kind of looks beige in the pan, but once it's applied to the cheeks, it does give you a flush of color. It's just not too overpowering. It's really great. And this is the classic cream and powder formula, the duo, which I love. I love that you get a two-in-one in here anyway. This is a fabulous new addition, I feel like, to the lineup. If you're looking for a blush that's just kind of a barely there situation, this is a great one. For eyes, there's literally one palette I've been using since I tried it, and that is the Makeup by Mario Neutrals palette. I didn't think that I would love this as much as I am. I mean, I knew I would, but as soon as I tried it, you guys, like, it's absolutely stunning. Especially if you have fair skin and you find just eyeshadow in general to maybe be a little bit overpowering. There's so many colors in here that really suit my skin tones, so if you're like me, I think you're gonna really love this. I haven't put it down. I create very simple looks with this. I use it on a daily basis because it's all mattes, but you can also go pretty smoky with this as well. I really wanna play with this gray color, but I just haven't found the right like moment to do it. It's beautiful though, I'm absolutely obsessed. This is by far better than the first palette in my opinion, just because it suits me a lot better, just with the undertones and the colors in here. I am obsessed, it's so beautiful. I highly recommend you check it out. I know the Sephora sale is coming up, so I will be doing a recommendations video of what I feel like is good to check out at Sephora, but heads up, like put that on your wish list if you're wanting to shop the sale. It's definitely worth checking out. You may have noticed, maybe you didn't. You may have noticed though, that I'm wearing eyeliner. Not just any eyeliner though, a liquid eyeliner. Who am I? If you've been watching me, you know that I do not wear eyeliner. And if I do, it's like an eyeshadow liner or like a brown, something really soft. I never wear liquid liner until now, apparently. Of course, leave it up to Lisa Eldridge to change my mind about liquid liner. This Kitten Flick liquid liner is the easiest, most precise, skinniest eyeliner I've ever tried in my life. I am a beginner with liquid liner and I feel like I'm really good at applying this, to be honest. I love how small of a line I can make right up against my lash line. I have more hooded eyes, so when my eyes are open, I don't have that much lid space to work with, and that's why I've avoided a lot of liquid liners, especially in like a felt pen form, because I find that it draws too large of a line and then kind of closes off my eyelids in a way. This doesn't do that. It allows me to get that really nice defined lash line, but still leave plenty of room, even with my eyes open. I'm obsessed with this. It's so stunning. The tiny, tiny, precise pen is everything I ever could have dreamed of. It's incredible. Thank you, Lisa Eldridge, for creating quite literally the perfect liquid eyeliner. I jumped ahead of myself a little bit. I wanted to mention the Make Multichromatic Metal Reflecting Eyeshadow in the shade Glaze specifically. They launched a bunch of these like one and done eyeshadows. They're so pretty. I love the reflect that this specific shade gives. It's the shade Glaze. I put it all over the eyelid after applying my Mario shadows and it's just so nice. They make several different colors. You can literally just put it all over the eyes and it's a one and done situation. But this one specifically is so pretty. I feel like it just goes with everything. If you're feeling like your eyeshadow's lacking a little umph, this is a great one for every day anyway, for me. And I love it. I've been using this a lot, especially paired with like the Mario palette. It's really nice to just have like a single shadow to pop on a little bit of something to the eyelids. Lisa Eldridge also launched the Kitten Lash Mascara, and of course, it's incredible. I'm wearing it today. I love that this is very buildable. I love how fluffy your lashes look with this. It doesn't irritate my eyes, doesn't smudge or flake. I love the curved brush on this. I prefer a curved, like, molded brush, which is what this is. It's so beautiful. I love it. It's so nice. I have nothing bad to say about it even down to the little details like the mascara lid locking, you know, it's all the things that I love about mascara. 10 out of 10 for this as well. Lisa Eldridge truly can't do any wrong in my eyes. She's incredible. Also from the drugstore, this is insane. This Physician's Formula Butter Tinted Lip Conditioner is so good. I've only really been wearing the Brazilian Berry color. This is what I have all over the lips. 
I love the texture of this. It feels very balmy, which is something that I go for, but there's like a lot of pigment in here. So it really packs a punch. I'm obsessed. Like if you're at the drugstore, if there's one thing you wanna pick up, pick this up. Well, and the brow thing. Did I talk about that yet? <gasps> I don't think I talked about that yet. Hold on. You need this, it's so good. And now that's a perfect segue into the brow product I almost forgot to talk about. You guys, this is so good. The Maybelline Build-A-Brow brow pen. It's incredible. I have been using it in literally every video. I love the kind of watercolor formula that it has. You can see it's so fine and it's so sheer almost that it looks so natural on the brows. I love that you get a felt pen on one side and a clear brow gel on the other side. This is like the only brow product I've been using since I tried it and I'm in love. The shade Ash Brown is perfection for me. I haven't put this down. So what I was saying before, these two, next time you're at Walmart doing your grocery shopping, sneak these into your cart. You know what I mean? They're so good. Last but not least, I wanted to talk about a skin device that I've been absolutely loving. Here's the thing about this brand. A lot of times when I see this brand, and you'll see in a minute, and you'll probably feel the same way. I feel like it's talked about a lot with influencers. And so I haven't really seen many people organically talk about it. That's just how some brands are. I always just see like, you know, they're partnered with the brand or whatever, which that's great, you know? The point is I was always kind of curious for myself whether this was as good as everyone said it was. Now, this device specifically is brand new. I hadn't really caved and bought anything from the brand until this one. So I bought this with my own money. I wouldn't be talking about it unless I didn't love it. You know what I mean? So this is the Medicube. I'm sure you've seen Medicube now that you know. The Medicube HR Booster Pro, I think. Let me make sure. Age R Booster Pro, I got it right, okay. This is basically a six in one device. It does so many different things, but I find myself using the very first mode, which is the booster mode. It basically helps your skincare go deeper into the skin. And honestly, I've noticed a huge difference in the overall appearance of my skin. I've also been using the microcurrent level. I only use it on like the lowest level. I'm, I'm working my way up to the higher levels. Anyway, I'm on the website, let me see, it does, Microcurrent, derma shot, which is for firming your muscles, air shot mode, which is the electric needles for like your pore elasticity. I haven't really played around with that one as much. And then booster mode is the one that helps your skincare absorb deeper into the skin. It also has like light therapy in here. I don't know. I've been really, 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 really loving this. And I think because it has so many different functions, I've been using it a lot more consistently. I just keep it on my bathroom counter and I find myself reaching for it every single night as part of my night routine. Sometimes I feel like that's the key to actually getting yourself to use, you know, skin devices is to have something that doesn't take too much time. Cause even like my red light mask, for example, which I love, that takes like a little more thought. Like I have to do a certain type of skincare before or like not put a certain serum on before sit there for 10 minutes where this, I can literally be multitasking, watching TV, whatever it is, and just kind of like move it around my face and I kind of get all the different treatments all at once. Anyway, I've been really loving this. This is like obviously unbiased, unsponsored. Just wanted to like talk about it because most of the things that I see people say about this, they're usually partnered with the brand or at least the product was sent to them or whatever, but I bought this and I'm loving it. Like I'm really glad that I bought it. It is on the pricey side. I did get it when it first launched, so it was like 40% off or something. I don't have a code with them, but I know a lot of people do. I'll see if I can like get a code. I don't know. If I do end up being able to get one, I'll have it in the description box. Otherwise, I know there's some other influencers that have codes that you could use to make sure that you don't pay full price for it because I've just seen you can get at least 40% off, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, that's that. I love that device. I'm excited to keep using it. Those are all the things that I've been loving the past month. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing all the incredible products that I discovered and fell in love with this month. As always, I love hearing what you guys are loving. So tell me in the comments, what's something that you found this month that you're loving or maybe something that's come back into your routine that you're obsessed with all over again. I love hearing from you. So leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Again, it really helps my channel out. I hope you all have an amazing day wherever you are and I'll see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.